uh, I had this one student. Uh, he was a computer science student. We became friends. And um, um, then he finished his... Uh, he finished his degree and he went back to Iran and he became Shahid. Akbar uh, gave me a uh, translation of Nacho Balaga. And um, I liked the, uh, the character of Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, as it was presented uh, there um, because it showed somebody who was a uh, a very multifaceted person. Uh, I mean, he was concerned with the political affairs of his day. He had problems with uh, Moavia and all of this kind of stuff. And at the same time, he was very, had really deep insights into spirituality and uh, mysticism even. And, uh, the, and it was uh, poetic as well. So it was like, uh, this was really incredible to me that here's a, a person who's engaged, um, has very high uh, moral qualities, um, a deep sense of spirituality, um, and a sense of responsibility towards his community. Um, so this was, uh, this was really fascinating uh, for me. So... From the very beginning, when I started um, uh, thinking about becoming a Muslim, at, at first, I mean, for some years when I started uh, studying about it, I had no intention to become a, a Muslim at all, because at that time I had no belief in God. So I, th I thought, you know, it's impossible for me to become a Muslim because you have to believe in God to become a Muslim, and I don't believe in God, so it can't work. Um, but this was... Uh, this uh, attitude uh, and the character of Imam Ali alayhi salam was, um, was very attractive for, for me. And I thought this was a, a good uh, model for somebody to have in his life. But I thought, um, I remember at that time, I thought, you know, if this guy is really uh, such a wonderful model to have, um, and he believes in God, then maybe there's some way that you can find uh, to to believe in God again, you know. In a sermon at the mosque in Kufa, Imam Ali, alayhi salam, said the following, Praise be to him who is not from anything and who did not bring things into being from anything. The excellence of his craft is sufficient for things to be signs of him and the complexity of nature is sufficient for them to refer to him. And uh, so I thought, well, maybe the problem with my uh, belief in God was that I was rejecting a, um, a kind of childish view, a childish conception of God. And uh, what Islam is really presenting is, is something uh, much deeper than that. And that's, that's how I finally was able to... Uh, to reconcile myself to, to believe in God.